Hi everyone. Um, today's video is a haul video. I want to talk to you about the Planner Kate August kits that I ordered and maybe show you what my plan is for what I have here. So the first one is kit 535. It is called Summer Warmth. And oops, I have these out of order. Um, I did get the Erin Condren 7x9 monthly, as well as the Plum Paper 7x9 monthly. And here is how I plan to use them. So in my Erin Condren Life Planner, I'm gonna use that kit for August. And my month view is like a general overview of all of the out of the norm or bigger things that we have planned. And then I do do a separate monthly in my plum paper planner. And on this one, I like to use the kit, but then also put in the wacky holidays and go back in and fill in with some of the bucket list stickers. So I do use two kits, one for each of those planners. So I have that. And then it looks like plum sheet number two. I also grabbed the matching perpetual calendar. I grabbed two of them. Again, one for the plum paper, one for the Erin Condren. And I grabbed two of the dashboards. Same thing here. So you can see in my plum paper for July, this is what the Erin Condren dashboard looks like. Since it's made for a seven by nine planner, you can pretty much use it in any seven by nine planner because you're basically covering the whole um, planner sheet itself. All right, then we have the journaling kit and we have sheet one and sheet two. This one I use a lot in my daily planner which is my plum paper and my traveler's notebook. And then I did get the weekly sheets for my Erin Condren planner, sheet C, which is the sampler, sheet B, which are the washi strips, sheet A, which is the full boxes, and then drop down D, which are the EC hourly and plum vertical um, checklists. And then I got just a few of the add-ons. So since I've been planner hopping, I did want a variety of headers to choose from. So these will be used probably in my daily planner. Oops, yeah. I ordered two of those on accident, that's okay. And then I did order the strip headers for my Erin Condren hourly and then I got the Thick Washi, which is add-on 23. Now I do wanna mention that the new Erin Condren planners, let's see here, if I can show you. Um, from this edge to this edge is just a little bit wider in the new 2324 planners. And Kate has updated the strip headers and the thin and wide washi. Um, to be just a little bit longer so that they are a perfect fit. So that's what I ordered here. And then the other three add-ons that I just, they're my favorite, so I almost always order these. Add-on 17 are the scallops, the dashed labels are add-on 15, and then this day and date dot sheet, these are my favorite dots with a black outline, that is add-on seven. I also got the Daily Duo kit in this um, particular design, and I wanted to try that in my Plum Paper Daily. So I have been using some stickers in here, but other days I don't use any stickers, and I was just curious to see if these um, headers and boxes would fit in this particular plum daily. So this was for a little bit of sticker research, so to say, I wanna play around with that, but this is what the daily duo kit looks like. So I did get sheet seven, which is the week at a glance, and 
sheet five, which are the full boxes. And then sheet six goes with that. You get your seventh full box and then this mix of extras. And then sheet one are the headers and the days of the week. Sheet two are checklists and kind of dashed boxes. Sheet two and sheet three and sheet six are different size um, appointment labels along with sheet four, which are the two-tone appointment labels. So I just wanted to play around and see um, which one of these would work in that plum paper daily. So that's it for kit 535. I did order quite a bit of this one and we will move on to the next kit. This next kit is kit 536 and it is called study time. Obviously love this one um, for back to school week. So I have a journaling kit sheet one and sheet two, super fun. And then for the weekly option, I got sheet C, which is the sampler. I have a little bit extra stuff here too that we'll talk about. Um, sheet B, which are the washi strips. Sheet A is the full box. And sheet D are those checklists that I talked about. This one did have a clip art option. So I went ahead and picked that up. That is add on 20. And then I did those same three add-ons that I said were my favorites. And those are the dashed labels, the dashed scallops, and the day and date dots. Um, this time I picked up a few different style headers again. So the brush stroke headers and the individual headers. But on this one, I got the new add-on 22, which is made for that new updated Erin Condren planner. And these are strip headers, and I just thought I'd give that version a try. I did get the thick washi, and then this time I chose to add just these basic labels. Now, for the Daily Duo, again, I'm not using the Daily Duo, but I wanted to try it in my plum paper um, daily. I did get the headers in the 7 by 9 Daily Duo size because I need the length for the 7 by 9 planner. However, when I picked up my full boxes, I got the seven by nine full boxes and the A5 full boxes. That way I can compare kind of which version I like in my planner. So stay tuned for that. Um, I like a lot of white space in my planner. So even though these are made for a seven by nine, these might fit better in the plum paper. We'll see. And then for my week at a glance, I went with a different layout with just the grid version. And I did get this sheet for the Daily Duo as well as the two-tone labels and the dash labels. So that's it for kit 536, which was study time. All right, next up we have kit 537. It's a mini kit, which means it does not have budget sheets or those monthly calendar views available. Um, I started with this journaling kit and I forgot to pick up sheet two apparently, so I'm gonna need to go back and order that so I have both sheets. But I do have journaling kit sheet one here. This is called Lemon Love. And then for my weekly view, probably in my Erin Condren, um, I have sheet C. Here's a look at the sampler. Such a summery pattern. I love the lemon and the green. Green's my favorite color, so had to get this one. This is sheet B, the washi strips, and here's a look at the full boxes. And then I did get my checklist sheet, my three go-to add-ons, I did get the wide washi this time, and then here's a look at the two header options. I have the strips and the brush strokes. Moving right along, we have mini kit 538, which is called Vintage Vibes, and I love this kit. Um, and I love the next kit. I honestly love all of these August kits. I think Kate really knocked it out of the park um, this month. So. We have a journaling kit sheet one, love those patterns, and journaling kit sheet two, really enjoying those little washi strips. 
And then the same sort of thing for my weekly. So I have sheet C, which is the sampler, washi strips and the full boxes and the checklists. And I did the strip headers and the breaststroke headers, again with a thick washi and my three favorite add-ons. And then this time for this kit, I did get the basic labels as well. So that is kit 538 Vintage Vibes. All right, we are going to wrap up with mini kit 539. This one's called The Sun and the Moon. So here's a look at the journaling kit sheet one. This one's like neutral looking, but not neutral looking. It has some color to it. Really be perfect in my mind for like the end of August and the colors outside. So this is sheet two for the journaling kit. And then I have another sheet um, that I didn't order. So going through this with you guys helps me because I realized I forgot that other sheet and for some reason I didn't order the sampler for this kit. So I'll just add it to my open cart and it will get here with whenever I place my next order. But I do have sheet B, which are the full boxes and the washi strips and the checklists. And then this kit, I did choose to get the notes page shell. This can be used in a seven by nine or a five planner, which is really nice. Um, I like these um, rectangular dash labels on that sheet. Got the thick washi, strip headers and brush stroke headers and individual headers. So I have options there. And then those three favorite add-ons. All right, guys, that is a look at my August kit haul from Planner Kate. I did wanna chat with you a little bit about how I was planning on using them. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have questions about anything, um, let me know and I would be happy to try to find an answer for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back next time.